Hello again YouTube. Right, this is the second time I've tried to do this video now. The thing keeps crashing on me when it's halfway through recording the video. Last time it got up to four minutes. It's been doing this a lot recently, but anyway. Yes, again, I've still got the cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've just uh, come down with the chicken, some scraps, leftovers from uh, last, last night's dinner. They're pretty happy with it. They're staying inside where it's warm. See, they're not as dumb as you think. <laughs> uh, not really much. This is the bottom, the very bottom of our garden. That down there is our uh, bottom boundary, so to speak. Bottom hedge. And uh, that's looking up the garden to the house there with the conservatory on it. So yeah, huge. Uh, I'm not allowed to have any aerial masts up, which is a bit of a shame. So it's a big enough garden, as you can see. Lovely sized garden. But I'm not allowed to have, <laughs> I just almost fell down, uh, the aerial masts up. But I've got an idea. I get some wire or something, I don't know if you can see it from here. But on the edge of the house just up there, there is a an aerial mast, sort of. The old TV mast. Uh, it's got a 2, 6 and 70 sems aerial on there. 2 metres, 6 metres and a 70 centimetre aerial on it. All combined into one. Um, it's only a mobile whip, but it's got massive gain. Super, really high gain aerial. It's a bit bent, I know, but oh well. It's been up there a bit. And I've got an idea of fixing a, uh, a wire from there all the way into this tree up here, which is a very tall tree. Now, I don't know if it'll, if it'll work or not, but uh, we've got the remains of a snowman up there as well, as you can just see. Behind that's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> um, it'll be interesting. So before I had a G5 RV, and if I could do this and walk up the garden without falling over. Don't laugh, I'm wearing Crocs. They're handy just for running down to the just for running down the garden in the summertime to collect the eggs from the chickens, but in the wintertime when the snow about, it's not pretty. Lucky I've not fell over yet. But uh, just there oh, in fact my aerial's still there, look. All scrunched up and left on one of the chairs. Uh, just here had a post in the ground just down here holding that aerial up now I've got an idea that if I was to run the live feed end of this up the wall of the house just over there then run a wire a, new, a fresh wire, this one's all knackered uh, down to that tree, the top of that tree down there, from the top of the house. I think I could make a long wire out of that. Quite a nice long one as well. I've done the measurements and I could easily get a full wave uh, 160 meter aerial in the boundaries of the house. Uh, you know, in the boundaries of the garden. And if I was to come down and do it on an L shape, it would work quite well. So from that aerial there, down here to that tree on a bit of rope dicking out and then from that tree a rope sticking out of the tree uh, under tension um, a pulley, a nylon pulley and then fix it to that tree stump there, the top of that tree stump there as an L shape so I get um, a bit of direction because it goes uh, that way is north. So my air will be pointing this way and obviously backwards. So I get east west pretty good. But I don't get any uh, anything else. So I think just that little bit down there would, would work really well. We'll see anyway. Uh, yeah, I think that concludes the video. Nothing much really to show. Big garden, lots of snow. Fun times, cold times, chickens just being chickens, really fun electric fence, it's not on at the moment obviously, we've got it on a battery as, uh, for, for backup in case the power goes out but uh, we've got it on plug sockets at the moment which is all uh, nice and safe.
obviously. Yeah, I don't know what the two different colour wires are for. But yeah, it's all great and safe, obviously. Uh, I've some, it's, a, it's a job I've got to do. In fact, that's not even the cabling. That's actually a set of jump leads. There you go. Just shows how much I look around. Oh, I'm not showing you what the, what the input cable is, you don't want to know. It's really bad. <laughs> we'll move away from that. Um, yeah, anyway, that concludes the uh, the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, and girls on YouTube. Uh, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, don't bother subscribing. I don't really mind. Well, it's supposed to be a free country. Peace out, guys. M6JDM out.